I was followed by uh, two, uh, I, I call them bodyguards, and, uh, uh, and I still was given usually a couple of autographs uh, during the breaks, but if not for those uh, bodyguards, it would be like 50 photos and autographs uh, every break. Yeah, I mean, the interest uh, in chess is uh, incredible here. And I have a question for Maxim as well. Well, after your wonderful performance in the rapid, uh, do you think that uh, first turn in the blitz was a problem? Or you could not win a point in the first three rounds. So what went wrong with the blitz for you? Game of Prague, and what about his own structure here? I mean, Prague has always been very strong. He has uh, very strong performance in the World Cup. Extremely impressive. Uh, here, I think his play was sometimes really powerful, sometimes a bit cheeky, but uh, that's normal. He's still young. I mean, he's still really young. And Very good with Quite in chess with Park, with obviously Bukesh and all the others, uh, young, uh, action, obviously. And so on. Yeah, of course, he's an incredible player. And, uh, you know, like judging by their results, their play, and their career so far, I would say that for uh, him, Noderbeck and uh, Bukes, uh, they all are supposed to become world champions, but there is a little problem is that there are three of them, and uh, there can be only one world champion, so <laughs> there is also Alireza, also there is uh, some weird guy called Magnus, <laughs> so yeah, so it's Actually, it's not a guarantee for any of them, but it will be very exciting uh, uh, years for chess, I believe, or and even decades. Yeah. And uh, would you suggest any variation in this opening or is the match in the candidates? Alexander, you. We need you to repeat. Yeah. Yeah, would you would you suggest any variation in this opening? Prat or Prat, would you say, suggest anything or Prat or is the matches in candidates? No, I suggest some uh, with Delki for black and first G4 with white. <laughs> Thank you, Maxim. You? Okay. Yeah, Are there some questions from the other side? More questions from this side? Yeah. Very crowded, yes? Uh, well, I have a question for Prag. Uh, Prag, you began very well yesterday, 5 out of 5, in this early. Uh, so how do you look back at the tournament uh, yesterday and today? what probably went wrong uh, today? Yeah, I think my overall play was good, but uh, today I think, uh, I think uh, Alessandro just went really well. Uh, there is I didn't have a huge lead or something. I always uh, um, the lead was always in half a point margin, and that was also putting a lot of pressure on me. And yeah, I started to play a bit passively today. Uh, maybe I think uh, you know the thought of winning winning the tournament came too early. I should have just you know uh, played my best and had one or two breaks. But I think I was you know trying to play it safe, which which is never a good strategy. That was the one thing I should probably try to uh, get better next time. Will you put an excellent advice from uh, Christian for the candidates? 
Your thoughts on that? You'll be playing that, right? Yeah, why not? Some more questions? Uh, how, did we, uh, how is your experience with the tournament? Because uh, I think you have been uh, very high potential for it. But are you being happy with your results on both the... Yeah. Yeah, it was very tough for them for me. Uh, I had a lot of ups and downs. Um, for example, uh, I had a very bad day, like yesterday. I, had, I scored like four points. Then I scored seven. So you know, my play was uh, very shaky. But uh, yeah, I, I'm very happy that I managed to finally show some good chess on the last day. Yeah, overall, uh, assessing my uh, results, uh, it was a normal performance, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, this, these guys are just very, very strong, you know, playing every round uh, against uh, experienced uh, uh, speed players and also young, young players, it's very uh, tiring, so... Yeah, it was a very tough tournament. Brav, So, of candidates, have you chosen any seconds? No, I have not uh, had any plans yet. Uh, I mean, I've just been playing tournaments uh, after World Cup, so uh, I don't have any plans. Maxi, so why do you love Bloomfield so much? Why do you love Bloomfield so much? I'm not, uh, I mean, I played a few here, but actually no, not full consent. Uh, but of course, uh, I mean, it's been an opening I played since childhood. I put feelings with it, but no, it's not like I, it's the only thing I play anymore, so. I don't know, it's, it's nice, but you know, it's nice. Okay, one final question, because then we have to prepare for a closing ceremony. No more questions? Okay. Oh, one more, please. Uh, during the drawing of lots, you mentioned that most of the contestants uh, are about the age of your kids. So how do you feel like winning a tournament full of the uh, average age, age of your kids? Yeah, not a, of my older kid, oldest kid, yeah. Uh, <coughs> as I said already, it's, what's important for me is that they are all very strong players. Uh, so I can tell you that for me it's not a big difference playing Vichy or Prat. I mean, uh, they are about the same level. So that's what matters for me and not their age. Okay, thank you. And on behalf of the organization, I would like to congratulate once again uh, Sim and Alexander for winning the two events here. And I hope to see you back next year in the sixth edition of Tata Seal Chess in the African Games. And now we have to go to the prize giving ceremony. Thank you. Kindly make your way into the auditorium for the prize distribution ceremony. Thank you.